viewers how are you i hope everybody is fine and happy yes today we are going to see a new topic okay imagine that you are studying in lkg okay your ma'am will be asking you first to take your four line note okay so you are taking your four, four line note and your ma'am will start you to draw a line isn't it a line a standing line slanting line isn't it dear yeah sleeping line so this is the uh, first thing you see you look in in your first class isn't it so like this today we are going to see about the line and line segment so first we will talk with take off page number 88 i hope you have taken yes now you are going to match it i'll give you a second can we match it fast yes i hope many students would have finished now yes now we are going to see a a it is what third one straight line next to b which is what it is curved line c it is what zigzag isn't it d it is what dotted line yes i hope you have completed same thing go to the second one so now you can write with the same thing you can write it join the dots and identify the line form if you join this dots what will you get yes this is a straight line the spelling is given above right same thing b1 if you join this what do you get this is a curved line you can write it here yes good i have given you enough time to write now we are going to see point a point is an exact position it is represented using a dot a point is named using a capital letter if you put a dot at point a okay so if you want to draw a line first what you'll do you take the scale or ruler and you keep it on this and first you keep a dot and then only you'll move isn't it so that dot is called what point so that is the thing so if you want to uh, take a line first what will you do you will keep a point so now we want to draw a line so we will look about line okay a line is a straight path that goes on forever in both the direction okay so the uh, arrows on each sides of the line indicates that it can be extended in either directions endlessly that is the second point third one it has no end points okay so thus it has no fixed length it keeps on moving on both the direction okay so the line can uh, consist of many points joining together so a line is named using any two points lying on it represented by two capital letters imagine if i want to draw a line ab i'll take a uh, as a ruler and i'll start keeping a dot at a and join and finish it at b again if i want to draw i, I keep a dot there and i will move again if i want to draw again i will move so what i have to do the line consists of many points joining together so if I, if i want to move to endlessly towards that i have many dots on it any points on it okay dear right so this is what this is called what line ab so this arrow both the direction it shows means it is what line ab you have to read like line ab if it is ba means what a line ba okay so a line has only one dimension that is length okay next line segment means what a line segment is a part of the line it has two end points it has definite length if i ask you to draw a line for 5 cm what will you do you take your ruler and uh, and put dot and draw 5 cm and name it as a line segment xy of 5 cm okay so you take your your ruler and you can draw it understand likewise <coughs> array what do you mean by ray a ray is a part of line that begins at one end point and goes on forever in only one direction so it keeps on moving or not on either direction but it moves only on one direction okay so you can see that in the picture mn so mn is a ray 
so that is represented by one arrow on one side only understand so for line it has both the sides arrow for line segment no arrows for ray only one direction it has arrows i hope you can understand now types of lines this you know isn't it here there are different kinds of straight lines one is horizontal line imagine your notebook where you are writing a b c d those are called horizontal line vertical line which is your margin line is called vertical line okay slanting line or oblique line okay so this is this is slanting line okay right so what is this slanting line a straight line that is neither vertical nor horizontal that is slanting line okay right so you have three types of line what type of line is this now can you say yes it is what horizontal line you can put a tick on it good now go to exercise 6.1 count the number of line segments in each figure so a sum a sum it is what how many sides are there so 1 2 3 4 5 isn't it dear so you have five line segment to join and make a pentagon isn't it dear so down you can write five here how many line segments are there here you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 isn't it dear yes now you can go to c c you have what 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so it is what hexagon 6 Okay, like likewise you can complete the other two examples. Okay, now you go to the second sum. Identify the following figures and write the name. A, a dot is given and A. So what is that? It is a point. First uh, uh, dash you write it as P O I N T point. Okay, B. It is what both the side. If you have arrow, it is what. Ah, oh, very good. You have to write what O A line segment, isn't it? O A it is what line segment. Next, it is what next A B line. It is a line A B line. Okay. Next, what one side arrow means? What you have to do? Very good. Ah, I can hear the your uh, answers. It is what ray, isn't it? So you can write one sided arrow and write. X Y S right. Okay, I hope you can understand easily. Yeah. Now write any two difference between line and line segment. What are the two difference in the line and the line segment? Write any two difference between line and line segment. You can write the the answers word which is given in your book itself. What we have studied now. Okay. So that you are going to take and see and take and write. Okay. The line has no end points. Here line segment, line segment has two end points. Okay, and uh, B one it is what second thing second point line has no fixed length. Here line segment has definite length. So this that's all we have completed the whole thing. Okay, now you are going to a worksheet one. So what I am going to do is, and I am going to give you an activity with regard with. you have to do a uh, same or different type of house with the help of a math stick or ice cream stick okay it's just a model no need to make a house you in a paper itself you draw by yourself okay without anybody self you can um, use your broomsticks also and find how many lines you uh, used in the house okay is it clear take a paper Draw a house, beautiful house, and take your broomstick or mat stick, and you can what you can do. You can uh, paste it with the uh, uh, stick on that, and count number of lines in it. Okay, for very good. By this, we can complete the whole exercise. We will uh, discuss these uh, worksheet uh, two, three, and the uh, experiential learning. in the zoom interaction thank you viewers